celebrities, we love them, we hate them, and sometimes we can love them all over again. They appear to have it all until they fall from grace. So, Dr. Judy, please tell us, why do we love to watch our celebrities crash and burn? Well, it's so terrible, but all humans are natural voyeurs. We all love observing. And celebrities seem like they have perfect lives to many people. Mm. So when they crash and burn, it's sick, but some of us feel, oh, good, my yes. life's not that bad. Yeah. And oh, finally, they're taking down a peg. And it's a terrible thing that they do, but at the same time, it's because there's all of this glam around the celebrity, there's mm. teams. So the sometimes you just don't realize that they do yeah. have regular lives and regular problems. For example, Heather Locklear yeah. was arrested and then yeah. she was put on a psychiatric hold. And of course she was at the top in the 80s mm -hmm. and 90s, oh one of the God. hottest yeah. actresses. Everybody loved her. And it's Ooh, really- it like Dynasty? She, yes. had, that. she had several yeah. shows. She was just yes. all that and that. And then we also got Amanda Bynes. Now y'all know Amanda was walking around looking a little cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs for a minute. He was like, Amanda! She was showing up with blue hair, pink hair. She was out like smoking. Didn't she have maybe a pet monkey at one time? I mean, she was, she was right. out there. She really was. But now we hear that she's on, on the comeback. Mm. What do you think is one of the biggest mistakes that celebrities make that make it difficult for them to have a comeback once they've you know, had some kind of tragic the, situation? The very first thing is to not acknowledge it or apologize. Mm. Uh, there's nothing worse for somebody to be like, nope, nothing happened. Nothing mm -hmm. to see here, we're good. <laughs> Don't ignore <laughs> it. Like, there's so? absolutely nothing worse than that. You're like, hello, yeah. we, uh, you know. Don't own it ever... and take responsibility. Yes, have you absolutely. Ever, have you ever gone through a, through a stage in your career where you did fall down and you had a great team behind you that pushed you and that you dealt with it with grace and it was learning experience for oh, you? Oh my goodness, absolutely. When I had a relationship that was real public that Lord, child, my goodness. I, uh, I, I took a lot of hits from, from that. And I can honestly thank my team that they helped me to say, we believe in you. The things that they're saying, it's okay. We will figure out a way, you know, but more importantly, I had my family. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My so family important. was like, we love you. Yeah. You know, and that's why on this show, when I have people that come on the show and they're, they're recovering from a bad relationship that I always say, especially when you've, you've been heartbroken and you just feel like I'm at the bottom, how will I ever be able to be happy again? That that person did not make you, don't you dare let them break you. We're facing the truth about celebrities. They're not playing around when it comes to their kids' birthday bashes. Is this party for the kids or for the mother? Then, we've been talking about it as the personality disorder. It's called a clout chaser. Has anyone come to you for a clout? Oh, it happens all the time. Lots. Everyone's got a celebrity crush, am I right? Well, it's time to reveal ours. We'll start with me. Baby! <laughs> Face the truth.